Hi, and welcome to another 5-minute tip. In this tip, I'm going to show a really simple technique that I stumbled upon while working on one of my other projects, the uh, Razorback. So, I wanted to show how to cover an entire model in one material. Now, typically that's a pretty easy thing to do, and few of us might know one or two ways to get it done, but I personally figured out an additional way to get it done that I never knew about before. So I'd like to share that. I'm using my generic sport bike model here for a couple of reasons. Um, it, it hasn't really gotten much use, so I figured I should use it for something since I've modeled it. And the other reason is that uh, it has a lot of materials. So the generic sport bike is it was created for Turbo Squid. And a lot of the buyers on Turbo Squid like when the model is broken up into separate pieces. So the generic sport bike is broken up into many, many individual components, as you can see here. Almost everything is a different individual piece. Likewise, there are a lot of materials. So the challenge comes in, how do you replace all those materials with one material? and then easily get back to how you had it before. Well, here's what I figured out. Typically, we might think, okay, you just select a bunch of objects, you say, I want to create a new texture tag, and then you apply a material to that. But the problem is the new texture tag gets created at the left, not at the right. Which means, if I were to create a new material, let's create sort of a strange green, just to be explicit about it, I would create a new material, and I would say, okay, let's create a new texture tag, and then let's drag this material into the tag. Nothing really happens, because this green material is underneath all of these other materials. That just won't work. So then I thought, well, maybe I can create a material at the top level of the bike, like this texture tag right here, and then just right-click it and say, copy tag to children. That doesn't really work. It does the same thing. It puts the texture tags at the left instead of at the right. So I've realized that uh, what you can do is you can select the objects that you want to texture. Like say all of these here. And then you can actually drag the material right on. So check this out. If I select the root object here, the parent, and I say select children, it selects every single object that belongs to this generic sport bike. At that point, I can actually just drag this material into the viewport onto one of these objects, release, and it puts it at the rightmost, not at the leftmost, of the stack of tags. Which means it allows you to cover the bike in green if that's what you want it to do. And you could then uh, render it. And you can do render tests with a solid material or with uh, a reflective material. If I wanted to see how the entire bike looked sort of chrome, I could actually just turn up the reflection on this material. And almost instantly I can kind of see what the reflection on the bike would look like from all angles. Now the other part of the tip that's kind of cool is that it's it's very easy to reverse the process. So if I wanted to get rid of all these new green texture tags that I've created, all I have to do is right click the material, say select texture tags slash objects, and it selects every single tag. You might need to sort of control click in the window here um, just to make sure the window is in focus and then you can press delete and it gets rid of all of them. Now, the way I used to do it is that I would duplicate the entire object so now I have two copies of this bike I would hide the original and then I would put a texture tag on the parent object of the, of the, of the hierarchy and then I would right click and say select identical children tags which selects all the other texture tags and then I would delete them. At that point I would be able to apply a texture tag. But at that point, I also have to make sure that I still have a backup of this object. Because when I'm done, all my materials are gone. They've all been deleted. So 
I like the technique that I demonstrated first a lot better because it's so much easier. You just right click, say select children, and then you drag the material on and it just applies it to every single object at the right of the stack of tags instead of at the left. So a little bit more of a technical tip, but I hope it helps some of you guys out. I know that coloring a model entirely one material when doing render testing is often quite useful to me. So I hope it's useful to you guys as well. And if you have any questions or feedback, let me know. And until next time, see ya.